So recently, a career coach I admire a lot, Austin Belsack, wrote an amazing article on how to write a crazy effective LinkedIn summary and includes real life examples and templates. The only problem? It's 28,683 words. So being the helpful little elf that I am, in this video, I'm gonna first share the key takeaways from this comprehensive article, break down the best LinkedIn summary template for job seekers and working professionals, then end with five practical tips you can apply today to your own LinkedIn bio. Let's get started. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeff and quick disclaimer up front, Austin did not ask me to make this video. He still doesn't know who I am. So if one of you could please let him know I'm one of the cool kids as well, that'd be awesome. Key takeaway number one on how to get your LinkedIn about section to stand out. There is no one size fits all LinkedIn summary because there are different best practices depending on how you want to position yourself. And the article talks about four in particular job seekers, working professionals, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders. Key takeaway number two addresses a common question asked by new and experienced LinkedIn users alike. What is a LinkedIn bio supposed to achieve anyways? Answer, a well-crafted LinkedIn summary compels your target audience, whoever they may be, to reach out to you instead of the other way around. Key takeaway number three, after coaching thousands of job seekers and analyzing their LinkedIn summaries, Austin has found common themes in the success cases and incorporates those best practices into his LinkedIn summary templates. Diving into the template for job seekers, we start off strong with an intro line that tells a reader what field you're in, how many years of experience you have, and the specific value you have brought to other companies. Applying this formula to myself, I might write something like, innovative product marketing manager with seven plus years of experience in B2B marketing. I help companies identify high potential leads and I'm responsible for 121 million US dollars in acquisition revenue representing a 78% growth year on year. Two quick things. Number one, if you're a student, focus on your internships and extracurriculars and make sure to include metrics. To give an extreme example, it's better to write my presentation score 24% higher than the class average than to simply write, I led a team presentation. Number two, I would usually stay away from fluffy buzzwords such as innovative, but Austin cleverly addresses this issue by giving you a chance to provide proof in the next section of your LinkedIn summary case study bullet points. In this part, I will cherry pick three specific examples that best showcase how your existing skill set will be a great match for the role that you're hoping to land. Broadly speaking, the structure here will be similar to the bullet point structure found in your resume. In the interest of time, I'm just gonna link my resume video down below, so make sure to check that out after this one. Finally, the last section of your summary should speak directly to the opportunities you're looking for but without specifically saying you're looking for new opportunities. Austin gives a great tip here by painting a picture of you and your boss at a bar, along with a recruiter at your dream company. And in order to tip off the recruiter without your manager getting suspicious, you simply mention the type of work that gets you excited. For example, I love applying my B2B lead gen experience to help tech companies reach high growth SMBs to further scale their businesses. And any recruiter looking at your profile will know exactly what you want without you actually saying it. In case my manager is watching this video, that was clearly a, a hypothetical example. Let me know down in the comment section below whether you're already following a similar structure for your LinkedIn summary or you're doing something different. I would love to see what other best practices are out there. Now that we're familiar with the three sections that make up an outstanding LinkedIn summary and have also seen a few examples, let's quickly go over the five practical tips you can apply immediately. Tip number one, LinkedIn recently expanded the limit for the summary section to 2000 characters. So first, write out your draft, then paste it into a tool like Word Counter to make sure you're within LinkedIn's limits. I personally don't think there's a perfect range, but in Austin's examples, the summaries are between 880 to 1,120 characters. Tip number two, since LinkedIn is a search engine just like Google, Amazon, and YouTube, keywords play a pretty big role. Recruiters are constantly searching for candidates and when they run a search, LinkedIn looks at the keywords and filters in their search and they match them up with the keywords on thousands of profiles. To embed the right keywords in your LinkedIn summary, first find a role you're interested in and paste the entire LinkedIn job description in a Word document. Do this 19 more times until you have 20 total, then paste those 20 job descriptions in a word cloud generator like Monkey Learn Word Cloud Generator, I'll link that down below, and do your best to weave the top five keywords into your LinkedIn summary. Of course, this works best if you're very targeted in the type of role you're searching for. For example, marketing for consumer hardware electronics. If you copy paste job descriptions from 10 completely different unrelated industries and roles, you're gonna end up with keywords that are all over the place. Tip number three, and this is something I did not 
not know before reading Austin's article is that you can use a free tool called Unicode Text Converter to bold or italicize words in LinkedIn. Simply go to this link, I'll link it down below as well, and type in a sentence or two you'd like to emphasize in your LinkedIn summary and copy paste a bold or italicized version of it. You can also add emojis. For Mac users, the shortcut is Control Command Space, and for Windows users is the Windows plus period shortcut. But for both the Unicode text converter and the emojis, I'd use those pretty sparingly. Remember, if everything is highlighted, nothing is highlighted. Tip number four, Austin recommends bring up one or two personal interests to create an instant connection with the reader. Safe topics include food, travel, family, sports, hobbies, and learning. The trick here is to make sure to include a specific detail after the general interest. This could be something as simple as including a specific team name after mentioning you're a huge basketball fan. Last but not least, tip number five is to use a Hemingway app to check your grammar and spelling. Once you've followed all the steps in this video, paste your LinkedIn summary into the app, I'll link it down below, and Hemingway will show you misspelled words, which sentences you can improve and how to improve them, and even give you a readability score. Of course, other than your summary, a few other factors also contribute to a strong LinkedIn profile, and I address each one of those in my LinkedIn playlist here. For example, I show you how to create a professional LinkedIn headshot using only free tools. See you on the next video. In the meantime, have a great one.